I'm really passionate about sport. I just see the power of sport. It crosses boundaries, religion, race, colour, everything, and it just really unites people. A year ago, I had never rode before. It's been the hardest couple of years of my life. Working full time, seeking sponsorship, training, learning to row. Rowing the Atlantic was a big thing. I had never experienced any conditions like it. When I talk about it now, I can just see like these three big swells. You felt like you were on top of the world. People say, you know, were you scared? And absolutely, I had never known fear like it. The auto helm broke in the middle of the night and there must have been 20, 30 foot waves lashing over us. We were kind of going side on to the waves, which there's a risk of capsizing at that point. A couple of the girls were having to deal with it and getting the nuts and bolts out in the middle of the night with the head torches on. I was literally huddled in the corner, just praying. Every day, another thing broke. So by that point, probably day 14, 15, we only had the GPS and the compass working. There were really some crazy lows, but the highs were seeing creation at its rawest. And oh, I'll never forget those stars. You might be so tired from, from rowing for two hours and you just see a shooting star and it would just keep you going for the rest of the shift. My faith literally soared on that ocean. I prayed morning, noon and night when I was fearful. I literally had to pray and sort of declare God's promises over what I was feeling because at times it was just so tough. I didn't think I could go on. Having a constant conversation really with God. Sometimes there were prayers of just crying out, Lord, this is so tough. Sometimes there'd just be prayer of thanksgiving. Seeing these incredible breathtaking sunsets and sunrises, I would be so thankful. I have often, you know, in my faith, doubted if God is speaking to me, but I've just learned in so many ways, sometimes just being in my cabin and just opening up my Bible, that was my one luxury item. I would just come across verses randomly or sometimes go to my favorite verses and just, I could have read a verse a hundred times, but just, it just felt like a new verse. What I really have learned from this, no matter what life chucks at you, in the middle of the Atlantic, often in the middle of the night with waves lashing on you, having to fix things, that it's amazing how creative you can be on the ocean and how there really are solutions to problems. You know, it's gonna be okay.